Oh, that main Final Fantasy theme, you just can't beat it. Oh, we're starting Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age today, chaps. It's been a long time coming, I did intend on doing this a lot uh, closer to its release, uh, mid-2017. Of course, that didn't happen, but we're doing it now. I'm going to start a new game. Oh boy, do I have a lot of history with Final Fantasy XII. I was so excited for this when it was, uh, you know, coming out on the PS2 back in the day, which would have been 2006. Um, subtitles on, please. Now, it was a very different version of the game to what we have here in this remaster. It is um, not a version of the game I'm very familiar with. We're just going to have to make do. We're going to have to struggle through it. Uh, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Uh, right. I think that's about okay. Uh, Reorchestrated music for the remaster, which is really nice, actually. So I remember not being overly keen on the soundtrack in the original, but I think they've done a really nice job. Um, vibration will have on as well. Okay, let's begin the game. Enough fannying around. Got a lot of uh, cool cutscenes to watch. And then when we finally get control, I'll start talking, like, you know. You know the deal. of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Amen. Nabodis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. Hmm. Secure Nalbano with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy.
fortress is lost. We must withdraw. No, the paling still stands. Shield beyond sight. Near failing light. Blessings of the Great Father descend, and guide your bodies returning to the Earth. Great Father, guide your spirits returning to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. Pharaoh. Final Fantasy XII. One hell of an intro. A lot to take in. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the Kingdom of Dalmaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon mete out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana Told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca's surrender. Lord Romanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta, when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. Mmm, so, yeah. Every now and then we're going to have that chap narrating to us, keeping us up to date with story stuff. You there. Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He <laughs> fights to defend his homeland. <laughs> Your name? R 
Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <laughs> <laughs> Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland, and for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Bosler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. Okay, a little bit of a badass. Taking on like a bazillion dudes by himself. Steady, Rex. <laughs> Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! We move. I guess we better check ourselves before we Rex ourselves. <laughs> right, tutorial stuff, guys. And this, uh, this chap here is our captain. His name's Bash. He's a pretty cool dude, as you can see. Very capable of handling himself. Us, on the other hand, don't really know yet. So, very basic stuff. We're just learning how to move around. How exciting. Uh, so, we've got to go up to Bash. Got to talk to him, I suppose. We are in Nalbana, which is currently the site of this uh, peace treaty signing. Hmm. I do. It is the talk icon. Yep, yep, yep. Nice smiley face. I'm just going to skip through most of this, guys. You, it's so basic, it's untrue. Life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. Do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once we're back in Rabanasta. Just listen to the captain and we'll get through this. So we can enter the fortress through the gate. We must go. You're going to tell me how to open a gate? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure we should know how to do this if we've managed to join the military. Unless they really are desperate for people and will accept anyone. Who knows? Anyway, he's going to watch our back. And we can now open the party menu. But before we get a chance to do that, we are set upon by a lone Imperial. Uh, right, so this game has a very different battle system to what you might have been accustomed to in the previous games. I actually quite like it, but it does start out very basic. Which can put it, you know, I'm sure it turned off a lot of people. If I can get my words out right. Uh, it, it does start out incredibly simplistic. So, yeah. It's uh, akin to an MMO's style of combat, I'd say, with the auto attacks once you uh, instruct your character to do so. As you can see, still got the classic ATB bar. But this battle system really is very different. I actually really like it once the game lets you do a bit more. That's all I'm going to say. Captain? Oh. What's this? Guessing it's not friendly. First boss fight of the game, and I 
I, yeah, it's not really a boss. You can't lose to this. Because a bunch of these dudes will look after you. In fact, you know what? We can uh, we can pause the action here to issue different commands. Uh, you can set it to where time doesn't freeze, but honestly, I prefer to be able to take my time and think about things. So we've got some black magic here. We're going to cast thunder on it, which does uh, a nice bit of damage, actually. Uh, you can move your character around, of course, but I don't think it really helps to dodge attacks or anything. It might do in certain instances, but for the most part, I don't really bother too much. Ooh, got a nice combo there to finish it off. Bloody hell, it's going all Dragon Ball Z on us straight away. Wow, okay. of uh, British accents in this game as well, which is quite nice for a change. Sorry, I think I can hear my dog going absolutely ballistic downstairs, running around like a madman. I have no idea why. Right, let's take out these uh, douche pickles. As you can see, it is basically just press X, select your target, and just watch and keep track. I mean, if things go bad, you can heal yourself, of course. But at the moment, we shouldn't really need to worry. What we need to worry about is getting to the king. There's no simple way through the fortress, the minimap. Yep, yeah, okay. And, uh, I th don't know if this feature was in the original. I can't remember it, but if you click the, the left stick in, we can actually view the map as we're running around which is incredibly useful. I've not played much of this remaster, but I do think this is going to come in handy from the little I have played. Because the areas can be quite huge in this game. Right, into the next zone. Vosla! Uh, where are you? What if Captain Azalus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vosla's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Men like him don't die in places like this. I love that line. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Then Wait. we're fucked. Quickly, Rex. <laughs> oh, I'm on it. I'm on it like a car bonnet. Oh, there's actually no one around. Is there any, um... I'm trying to remember if there's any chests around. I think there might be one or two. Uh, chests, you know, with items and shit. Oh, here we go. Ahead we will face many Imperials, but we need not fight them all. Oft times, a retreat is the wiser course. So we can hold our two to run. Okay, cool. Probably won't be running from these guys, though. Ah, there is a uh, chest item. Item chest, I mean, that way. It looks like a, it was a magic user Imperial, but he's down, and... Uh, this chap is soon to follow, I'm sure. Yeah, Bash just absolutely kicking ass. We haven't really done much there, but... Oh, well, what's this way? Oh, in fact, I nearly forgot. Oh, my God, there's more of them. Holy shit! Well, there we go. Really not a, not a problem. Right, okay, let me grab this item. It's probably gonna be something really, really crappy. It's a potion, alright, well that's useful. Um, 
Right, so we have our menu here. There aren't many options for us right now. Just check our status. We're level 3, so yeah, not that hard, really, at the moment. I mean, hard as in skillful, not hard as in, you know, uh, something else. <laughs> right, I think there's not really anywhere to explore. We're just gonna... We are actually gonna run from those guys, because they keep on spawning. Let's head to this... Oh, actually, what's around here? Anything? Ah! Now, in the original version of the game, there was a really, really badass weapon called the Zodiac Spear. But you can only get it if you avoid opening certain, uh, certain items throughout the game from uh, specific chests. I think there was like four chests you, you shouldn't open, but there was no indication whatsoever within the game itself that would let you know that, unless you had the guidebook, which I did. Um, but I'm glad they've removed that in this version of the game, because it kind of sucked, really. Save Crystal, awesome. I'm going to be using that soon. Maybe not just now, though, because I've only just started. Uh, we must reach His Majesty before it's too late. Is there anything this way? No. No. Okay. Cheers, buddy, for the info. God, this does look so nice, though, the remaster. I was so excited for this when it was announced. Because I do, Sir, I really do love 12. We have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Fight well. Fight well. Okay, you're just going to leave me to take on three dudes by myself. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Now... We did just block an attack there, that's completely random, as you might have guessed. Um, don't know who to go for, you, might as well. I don't really want to go overboard explaining the game and how it works. You know, a lot of it's very standard stuff. Although I'm sure I'll end up doing that anyway when I run out of things to say. So forgive me, but here we go. That's nicely dealt with. Can't go up anymore, so... Let's open this door. Um, I don't think we'll actually need to bother healing ourselves. Is there anything... That's the... No, no, no items. Okay. Because so I do believe we're at the end of the tutorial section now. There's many chests in here. I don't think it really matters. Okay, we've missed one hell of a party. Be the king. Your Majesty. <laughs> Captain, why? Our king, what have you done? The king intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. He sounds different. Captain, I. Well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty. Out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. 
Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmaska will hate you for it. Take the captain away. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Yeah, we've, we've died. I remember that opening being really shocking to me when I first played it. Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Ravanasta. Dalmaska's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmaska. Sons and daughters of Dalmaska, I bid you lay down your arms. Raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer too for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Oh crap. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanos, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain, traitors who would lead Dalmaska to her ruin. Dalmaska's surrender without terms was soon to follow. Hmm, something not right with that whole situation, though. Something fishy going on. Oh, yay, we get to be introduced to uh, the main character of the game. In quotation marks. Oh. Vaughn! Hurry it up or they'll find us! I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. Alright. Time to clean house. Oh, I don't like this guy. Oh, boy. Vaughn is not my favorite character at all. And uh, we're killing rats. Somewhere. Yes, this is the brother of Rex, and I really do wish Rex had been the one to uh, survive and Vaughn had gone off to uh, die horribly. Betrayed by his own captain. Or was he? Who knows? Well, we've got some rats to kill. Yeah, but Vaughn is. Oh my god, I really don't like Vaughn at all. His, uh. His role in the story is, is kind of weird, too. Like, he's, he's your typical Aladdin, street urchin type character, as you'll see. Wow, Vaughn! You got him all yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. You sarcastic hey, bastard. The desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Oh, Vaughn. I'm not a fan of his voiceover, either. His in particular. Well, I'll say in a minute. But this is Rabanasta. Huh? What'd you say? 
paid. Uh, sir, you haven't paid, and I don't want to have him pay. Uh, uh, <laughs> second thought, please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod be. We don't want trouble today. Proper British. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. Which way you're going, churl? What? My pouch! It's gone! The boy! Yep. Get out the way. Nicely pickpocketed. <laughs> they didn't exactly put up much of a fight, though. 